Evening, everybody. How's everybody feeling tonight? After two hours of the bar being open, I hope everyone's in a good spot right now. <laughs> I actually wanted to start off by thanking everybody for coming tonight. You know, these type of events are very important where you get to meet industry leaders that are pioneering the cannabis industry in a forum where you're allowed to share your story. You're allowed to talk about your different experiences and come together. So I'd like to tell you a little story of how I got involved in the cannabis industry. I've had a history in business technology and I've had the good fortune of having a lot of good mentors in my career. And the one thing they always told me was, Sean, whatever you do, be passionate about your work, love what you do, and find your why. Why are you doing the job that you're doing? Now, through my career in business technology, I didn't really find it until I came to Canvas. It's a personal story, so hopefully it resonates with you. It does for me. So, going through, oh, sorry. Going through the different stats, it changes daily. But at last check, over 20% of Canadians suffer from one chronic pain or another on a daily basis. 20% every day. That's a huge number. And then you factor in the aging population, the fact that we're going to have an average of three ailments over the age of 40, and an increasing life expectancy. Expectancy. It gives you the totality of how important finding alternative methods for pain treatment can really be. So I'll tell you a little story about my father. He's a gentleman in the middle where a few years ago he was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And from that moment onward started the onslaught of specialists, doctor's appointments, cortisone shots, a bunch of pharmaceutical grade medication that each of them came with a laundry list of different side effects. So after a few years we got to thinking there must be an alternative. There must be something that's closer to the natural side of treating pain. So short answer is yes, there's lots of alternatives, one of them being medical cannabis. Now I'll never forget what he said to me when I proposed that. He said, Sean, why are you trying to get your father in jail? How can you possibly think getting high would help me with my pain? Now talk about a stigma that's right there in the flesh. So we did our digging, we looked at other ways that would be acceptable for him to pull out the properties of pain treatment in cannabis that would be acceptable to him. My dad's 74 years old, grew up with the stigma all his life. So I started to dig into different ways, and we found that there are patch treatments, subdermal, there are topical creams, like the science in cannabis in the last 10 years is just outstanding. The amazements of how far we progressed because of the adoption through different cultures and different cities and governments that are now honing the power of cannabis is really amazing. But our educational journey stopped abruptly for two reasons. One, the information was everywhere. It wasn't curated, it wasn't consolidated, it wasn't in a digestible format where someone could go stage by stage and understand what do I need to know about hemp versus cannabis, THC versus CBD, where can I actually find an unbiased source of information to actually help me in my journey of using cannabis for my healthcare. And we still had a ton of other questions. And a lot of other people had a ton of questions, very good questions around, can I be using cannabis if I'm over 90? What about if I have high blood pressure? Can I talk about it with my kids? What do I talk about it with? Using it in all different stages of life. And what method of ingestion do I use? Do I use dry leaf? Do I use oils? Do I use topical creams? And the list continues. Now here I thought, maybe it's because Cannabis use in modern day and age has been around for 100, 200 years. Not so. Doing a little fact finding, cannabis has been used as a main treatment for pain for almost 5,000 years. But why haven't we dispelled the stigma yet? Why haven't we found out what are the best ways of using cannabis? It goes back to education. It goes back to understanding where you can find this information. And through Canvas, we hope to solve and plug that gap through individual courses for a caregiver, if you're looking after someone, an actual patient, if you're a practitioner, a nurse, an LP. We have contextualized content that follows you around the world. So whether you're in Australia, Germany, New Zealand, or Toronto, it'll contextualize to show you where you can find legal forms of cannabis, 
It can tell you what type of cannabis is around you, patient support programs, clinics around you, all the information that you need. Once we have this, and this is, again, the information gap that we're plugging, we can start the long road of dispelling the stigma around the safe use of cannabis as a main pain treatment for your life. We're all here today because of health and technology, and technology and innovation is moving as an unprecedented race. We believe the timing for collaboration between industry leaders like yourself and an educational platform to provide a global solution that if someone is traveling around the world, they can still continue their pain treatment. The time is now. There's too many people involved in this industry. There's too many governments talking about it for us to search online, find one article, go to another site, find another article. There needs to be a place where everybody comes together and finds exactly what they need. The articles that they're searching for and the strains that they're looking for. The methods of ingestion that better fit and suit their persona. So, in short, it's my hope and Canvas's hope that we work with industry leaders and people and individuals like yourself today to help my father, to help people like him ease into the use of cannabis as a mainline pain treatment for what they're suffering for. Education is paramount and Canadians believe that we are still on the tip of the iceberg of finding out how to actually use cannabis in different variations and different strains. The landscape of the cannabis technology community is changing. It's fun and it's exciting and we hope you'll join us in this journey. Thank you.